When you make people laugh, what chemically happens inside their body? Do you know? Are you familiar with that? Oh, endorphins. Um, yeah. Good, feel good, feel good. Yes. You made somebody feel good without giving them a beer or, or anything, you know? Exactly. Right. You made them feel good. How does that change the environment for selling when you take a total stranger and you make them laugh, you make them feel good? This is like, I'm, you know, I'm amazed I'm paid to teach this. Right. Well, you, cha you change your situation to almost you you're starting to create a buddy. Um, yes. yes. And someone yes. that you want to talk to. Right. And you keep that going. So that's and that's the thing. So I, that part I've been doing OK with. I've been um, coming up with some good pattern interrupts. Um, uh, hey, Claude, hey, Claude <clears throat> let me ask you a question. When you found out about Ruth Chris or your favorite steak restaurant, did you keep going to Outback and Longhorn? Um, Outback. I haven't been to an Outback in years. OK. So what's your favorite steak restaurant? Um, Ruth Chris. Ruth Chris. Okay. So you yeah. like the finer you like the finer things in life. And, you know, I'm, uh, believe it or not, I don't know if this is a role play or a serious question. Right. I'm actually a recovering vegan. Uh, last night for you know what I did. I don't eat breakfast. I don't eat lunch. I drink water all day. And last night um, I had a handful of nuts and a beautiful salad. My wife okay. made me. a little a salad. With mm -hmm. a little um, a light Italian dressing, that was that was what I ate for the day. So I I'm con so, but once in a while I okay. fall from grace and I have a big juicy beautiful steak okay. with a big potato and the spinach cream spinach and a nice uh, gray goose on the rocks. Does that make okay. me a bad person? Okay, for that. Okay, because usually where I would go with that, I'd go. I'd, okay, you like the finer things. So you like the finer things in life. That's I, 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 in moderation, yes. Okay. Thank you. Sorry yeah. to be complicated. Today. No problem, but that's that's what then I will go. That's why I'm here to talk to you about. Um, you saw you seem like it. So that's I've been doing some practice some things there. Well, Claude, here's my thing, and you told me the other day uh, you're gonna give me some vitamin D. Um, vitamin C. Vitamin C. Vitamin C. Right. Vitamin C. Right. Too, 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 vitamin diamond. I don't know if right, that's got you. Got you. Okay. Um, but here's here's again where I'm going in, and let me let me kind of get a. I call these guys up. Remember, I'm talking to the car dealers. Right. These are the guys getting 10, 15 calls. I call them up. Um, I throw in a pattern. I pa throw in a pattern interrupt. Um, try to get as far as out where they're going. Then I kind of say, "Hey, no, actually, seriously, this is what I'm here to talk about." And remember, I'm the one that's just trying to set the appointments for my boss. So. I need something hardcore because I'm still still seem to be hitting a wall with these guys. So I don't know if I need some more role play. I need some more um, a way to get these guys a little bit more engaged, a little bit more quickly uh, to get to that qualification step, and so I can go through the steps. Um, so well, here's I'm, the thing: you you don't do you have you're not so much pitching. Going, well, the thing is, all you're doing is setting up an appointment, right? But I got to get them. I got to get them red hot. You, you got to get them interested or curious. Right. They have to understand that this, you have to make them interested, which is, that's all. You can skip a lot of the other stuff. Okay. 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 You don't, you don't have to go through. My system is very, very flexible. Right. You're not closing him on a $50,000 advertising campaign. No. You just have to close him for one simple thing, an appointment. Right. The, the only reason you'll get him to that appointment is if you create enough either incentive value or, or value or curiosity uh, in this or you know the value is uh, gee what am I uh, gee could this help me turn my business around uh, uh, is this guy got a great idea am I curious about it oh this is a valuable thing he's giving me for free you've right. got to create that in in seconds with them okay okay you've got to let them know now how do you do that you tell them you know your competition's doing this that's called social proof okay Did you, hey, gotcha. hey, Hey, you know, um, uh, Eric, did, Eric, did you know your competition is doing things that you're not doing? I don't know if that's important to you. And, and, and we got one Toyota dealership, man, they're crushing it with, with something new that we've taught them. I don't know if you, would you be interested in a, a 15 minute consultation to learn that same marketing method for yourself? Okay. Okay. That's social proof. We used to call it keeping up with the Joneses. Yep. You know, New Yorkers, uh, 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 you ever, you ever been to New York city? Yes. <laughs> they, they, they love to stand on lines. There's lines everywhere. Pizza parlors, barbershop. There's always lines in New York, okay? Sometimes people are on a line. You go to the guy behind you. What's this line for? I don't know, but it looked, but there was right. a lot of people on it. I thought I better be on it. Right. Yeah. <clears throat>
so you got to get them interested in what his competition is doing. Why? Because everybody's insecure. Right. Why is okay. that? Why are all the kids? Why are all the kids piercing their nose and wearing those those tattoos all up and down their earlobes and nostrils now? But they want to stand out. They want to be different. They want to be. They got to go deeper than that. It's you're partially stand correct. out different, or the, I mean, want to be like everyone else. Hey, they boom. Wanna, right. Boom. Okay. Right. Want to be like everybody else. Oh, okay. Right? What they they don't have the independence to say, man. I don't want to put a. I don't want to put a thing through my nose. It hurts. Right. Ouch. Yeah. You know. Right. I don't want things going dri dripping off my thing. Anyway, you can tell my I'm an opinionated guy. Right, right, right. <laughs> okay. They do it because everybody. And when I was a kid, I wore long hair and I wore bell bottoms and things like that. I'm older than you, but okay. right. I did. I also didn't want to stand out. I wanted to do what everybody else was doing. Right. Same thing in the dealership. Doesn't he want to know? Gee, what do they know that I don't know? Here's your rule. This is your, if you're going to, you got notes there, you got a piece of paper. Yes. Write, it, write this down. Very short. Ready. Everyone is insecure. Okay. Everyone is insecure. Okay. They all, we all want to do, we don't want to, we all want to do what everybody else says is cool. Okay. Gotcha. Right. right? There's a few independents once in a while. I, I actually have a lot of respect for people who think, you know, Steve Jobs used to say, think different. Okay. Okay. When I started a mentoring program um, 30 years ago, I had a guy uh, who I was writing for a magazine. He said, that'll never work. You know what that did for me? Uh, that just made me want to do it even harder. Right. Okay. Right. <laughs> Instead, I grew it into a million dollar business. He's probably out of business, right? He's dead. <laughs> right. Oh, okay. Well, let's leave that alone. All right. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Uh, whatever. So you got it. So that's one of the psychological triggers. So you're starting out brilliantly. I love that you're adapting. You're listening and learning. Thank you. Pattern interrupts. Be original. Be creative. Be spontaneous. Be fun. You're a fun guy. You smile a lot. Use that. That's a that's your God given gift. Shame on you if you don't use it enough. Okay. All right. People, All right. people love personality. We like friendly, happy people. Duh. Okay. You're right. Okay. So go use that. You're going to have a couple assholes, okay? You go, oh, oh, what, what, what do you really want? And they're going to attack you and everything. It's because they're having a bad day and they're miserable. Okay. Gotcha. All okay. right. But you can break them down sometimes. When you make somebody laugh, you can take the biggest jerk and you make them laugh and everything changes. Changes, right. Okay. Did you ever see an environment change when people were getting real intense and everything and someone made a joke and it, <laughs> every, everything changed instantly? Mm -hmm. So you got to do that with these dealers. Then you got to get into the second step. You've got to create a psychological trigger to get his attention. Okay. Give me, give me an example. Like I gave you one. Mr. Okay. Mr. Mr. Eric, do you, know, do, you know who, uh, do you know what your competition is doing right now that's really changing the industry and is creating more walk-in traffic? Are you aware of what's going on right that changes in the culture and the environment in the auto trade right now? Okay. Okay. Boom. And end in a question. Now write that down. Always end in a question. Why? Because it keeps them engaged. Right, exactly. Did anybody wake up this morning and say, gee, I hope I have a salesman talk his head off and bore me to tears. Right. The, the trouble is, and I'm guilty of this because I got a big mouth. Um, I, you know, I love to get my point across. I love to entertain. And you've got to forcibly stop and make them engage. Right. Because when they engage, they become the million dollar rule. What is it? This is your pass fail for the course the today. The million dollar rule is the most important thing I teach. Is uh, the base uh, the the overall just genesis is that people basically won't make a decision until they become emotional about it. Amen. Thank you, smart young man. You gotta make them when you make them emotional, it changes everything. They're in your that's, universe. That's the and there is the thing is to get these guys emotional because it's not really about. You know, stats is important to a degree, but, um, and I'm reading a lot of stuff and leading your stuff, but I, and these he, people keep talking about the why, sell the why, why you do what you do. And they were like, that's how you get them into not why the, you know, why the, you know, the, the hole gets there, but I mean, why they buy the drill, but why do you get the hole, you know, but instead, um, the hole helps the, the, um, the swing becomes secure and now your kids are in the background enjoying themselves and you bought that that drill to make sure that they're secure so i was trying to figure out how to make that transition over to get them emotional with these guys because remember your questions they're sales questions okay 
You, and it's by the just questions says, you ask, the stories you tell, the environment you create. See, sales, there's no, here, you know what my mentor always used to say? He said, Claude, there's no bad prospects. There's only shitty salesmen. There's no bad prospects. Right, exactly. He right. Said, we, when you take, and I put this in my, did you ever read my first book, The Mentor? The Mentor yes, Success yes. has the orange cover with the handshake. Mm -hmm. In that book, he, um, you, know, you become successful when you take total responsibility for why your life is great or why it sucks. You can, you can curse the sky, you can blame God, the weather, you have the Democrats, the Republicans, the lawyers, you can blame everybody. But in the end, all that, all that, all that blame doesn't put mac and cheese on the table. Right, it's all on, it's all on me, right. It's no all on you. Me. Nobody loves you except your mother. Right, exactly, right. <laughs> no question about it. So. <laughs>